He's an acclaimed hip hop superstar, but some of his tracks are still being slept on. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated Drake songs. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on lesser-known Drizzy tracks that have tremendous value, even if they're not his most successful commercial releases. Money can't buy happiness, jelly talking truthful. But I'm happiest when I can buy what I want, get high when I want. Look. Number 10. Fear. This is me, still the same. They want the hits. I play the game. Produced and co written by Khalil Rahman, aka DJ Khalil, this track examines the personal anxiety that comes with fame. With each passing verse, Drake becomes a little more rattled, detailing the cost of his growing fame and reputation. He lays down some fundamental truths, but the fear persists as he tries to deal with being misrepresented and underappreciated. And no, I pop bottles because I bottle my emotions. At least I put it all in the Don't open. Believe yeah. the lies. It's a little more personal than the typical existential hip hop track, and Drake insightfully chronicles his industry journey with the support of DJ Khalil's layered and meditative production. I hope this isn't one of those forever things. It's funny how money Don't can change everything. The lies. Number 9, Grammys, featuring Future. Tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel. I would ask you what's the deal. But you don't even got a deal. For this snarky track, Drake and his feature guests take aim at hosers. Rhyming over a grimy beat, Drake reminds that he's the real deal in more ways than one. Same niggas from the old days. A lot of sides on the same side. Over yo, we a gold mine. But I'm gonna go no time. And if he's less than clear with his message, Future drives home the hook while elaborating on the diverse array of uppers and downers currently in his system. They want me go to the Met Gala. I want a burger, sit down the Throughout the track, Drake and Future insinuate that they're more about keeping it real than posturing for others, making Grammys an entertaining and thought-provoking commentary on rappers in love with the spotlight. They gonna think I want a Grammy. They gonna think I want a Grammy. Yeah. Uh, number eight. Cameras. Word on road is the click about the blow. You ain't gotta run and tell nobody they already know. Produced by Noah Forty Shabib, this track isn't necessarily a love song per se, but it's driven by honesty and truth. With a drawn out lyrical delivery, Drake explains his glamorous lifestyle, adding that real life is different than a paparazzi's perspective. In classic Drizzy fashion, he attempts to qualm the concerns of a certain female, yet he doesn't quite apologize for any questionable behavior. Name, baby, she looked like a star, but only on camera, only on camera, only on camera. Cameras is a stripped down take on what it means to date a high profile hip hop star. In other words, the cameras don't always reveal the truth, but rather a brief snapshot about a specific place and time for hip hop's underground kings. I am me, I am me, thought you knew by the team. I didn't know much then, but probably Number seven, Closer featuring Andrina Mill. Mr. Big Dreams, no tolerance. Cut you at the house and have a holler since. With its mid tempo beat and inspirational narrative, this track features a younger Drake on the cusp of achieving his dreams. Musically, the production has a slow jam feel, certainly when paired with Andrina Mill's vocals. I said I'm getting high. But, Closer thrives with Drake's lyrical acumen and precise phrasing. There's no mumble rap going on here, and although Drake keeps it loose, there's a sense of urgency that shines through. Back in 2007, a mixtape track like this showcased what Drake could accomplish, and he clearly felt that he was on the right track. Looking back, it's most definitely one of the Toronto MC's more underappreciated songs. Anticipated like the iPhone. Respecting in any city that I roam, summertime, wintertime, then the time, any time, but I am that nigga in my town when I arrive home. Yeah. Number six, 9 a.m. in Dallas. These are my one St. Thomas flows. Me, my niggas, and some Madonna hoes that look just like virgins, but trust they down to go. While this joint didn't make the American version of Drake's studio album, it nonetheless had success on the Billboard charts. Even so, people tend to forget about 9AM in Dallas, a track in which Drake essentially talks smack to all the haters. It's filled with freestyle zingers and features all the Drake bravado that fans have come to love. This one is for all the n****s from my city trying to dance without a response from me. You really fail to exist and I love to see you fail. That feeling there's the shit, I swear. I... But it's neither a deeply philosophical track nor a club banger, more of a meditation on swatting down the trolls and knowing one's place in the game. 
In that regard, it's steeped in traditional hip-hop roots, a song that's often overlooked given its absence on the domestic album release. People say that old Drake, we started to miss it, but they need to be a little more specific, man, is this what y'all want? Number 5, Jungle. These days, I'm letting Guy handle all things above me. Built on a jazzy, stripped-down beat courtesy of Drake's right-hand man Noah Forty Shabib, this late album track is one of Drake's more chilled-out productions. Starting with a sample of Gabriel Garzon Montano, Drake doubles up with vocals of his own. In the first two verses, Drizzy shifts gears from confident to skeptical lover, questioning whether he's lost credibility. Hey, did I treat it like it's a whatever thing? Trust me, girl, this shit is everything to me. But rather than spiraling into the madness, Drake refocuses by the final verse, now dropping rhymes with confidence. However, there's still some underlying anxiety about the future. What am I supposed to do after we done everything that we done? Who is your replacement? It's the subtext that makes Jungle such a gem, as Drake looks inward rather than boasting about trivial matters. Number four, now and forever. It's over, yeah, it's over. Yeah, I'm leaving, I'm gone, I can't stay here no more. In the opening seconds of this song, a dreamlike vibe sets the tone. Produced by Eric Dingus and Jimmy Prime Johnson, Now and Forever has Drake caught up on his thoughts, caught up in all his hopes and fears. I'm afraid that I'm gonna die before I get where I'm going. I know I'm gonna be alone. It's a moody, existential track about breaking free from what's holding you back, with many people interpreting the lyrics as a nod to the ongoing drama between Drizzy and Cash Money Records. There's no rap cliches, hip hop references, or name dropping to be found, just the repeated statement of no more, making Now and Forever an accessible track for any listener anywhere. No more, no more, no more. No more, no more, no more. Give, but you cannot take love. Number 3, From Time, featuring Janae Aiko. I needed to hear that shit, I hate when you're submissive Passive aggressive when we're texting, I feel the distance Poetic and minimalist, this love ballad plays like a conversation between Drake and an old flame With a soft piano backdrop and Janae Aiko's hushed vocals setting the mood From Time feels completely harmonious once Drake begins his first verse With this song, he's not afraid to open up, but doesn't come across as soft I've been dealing with my dad speaking a lack of patience Just me and my old man getting back to basics Through this approach, he addresses issues with his father and romantic stress, acknowledging all the little things that make a difference. Y'all don't even know what you want from love anymore. I search for something I'm missing and disappear when I'm bored. But it's about communication, with Drake becoming even more raw by the end. All in all, it's the slight production tweaks that give from time some depth, just as Drake makes his own personal tweaks and progresses as a songwriter. I'm acting out in the open, it's hard for you to ignore, but girl, what qualities was I looking for before? Who you settling for? Who better for you than a boy, huh? Number two, Weston Road Flows. Weston Road Flows, I did this shit for my nigga Rennie. Back when we couldn't buy pizza cause we were down to pennies. For this track, Drake uses one extensive verse to pay homage to his roots. At times, there are subtle references to friends, and even foes, yet Drake livens up Weston Road Flows by dropping pop culture references throughout. A lot of people just hit me up when my name is mentioned. Shout out to KD, we relate, we get the same attention. Even if listeners can't necessarily relate to Drake's experience, they can at least appreciate the context as he paints a full portrait of his life, past and present. Incidentally, when Drake ultimately references Weston Road, the Toronto street where he grew up, one can understand Drake just a little bit more, where he's been, and how he sees the world. Weston Road flows, my confidence level getting settled. Don't get hyped for the moment that start to backpedal. Don't let your newfound fame fool you. Cloud up your judgment to talk loosely. I really do this. Been flowing stupid since Vince Carter was on some through the legs arm and a hoop shit. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. She working with the special. I know she love flipping shit. Oh. On me. How to pile a cush become a mountain of truth. How to bottle a wine become the fountain of youth. Finger on the trigger. I got money in my pocket. I'm a uptown nigga. This is more than just a new last for you. Number one, Too Much featuring Samfa. Done saying I'm done playing. Last time is on the outro. Stuck in the house, need to get out more. I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising. Thanks to the opening vocals by British singer Samfa, there's immediately an anthemic quality to this Drake production. But rather than keeping it light, Drake revs things up with a couple of strong verses on the costs of success and its impacts on family. Money got my whole family going backwards. No dinners, no holidays, no nothing. 
doing away with the usual hip-hop fare, here Drake addresses his own family, desperate for some type of resolution. By allowing himself to be so vulnerable, it's clear that some aspects of Drake's life had become too much to handle. With Drake's introspective lyrics combined with the soulful and heartfelt contribution from Samfa, Too Much will surely be remembered as one of the best deep cuts from Drake's discography. Now, shit got me feeling pinned down, pick the pen up or put the pen down. I'm writing to you from a distance like a pen pal, but we been down. Don't think about it too much, too much, too Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Oh, oh,